Hello fellow makeup addicts and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to, obviously I'm considering sticking with these bleached brows. We're going to give it a try. I thought it would be cool because we are going to talk about this cute palette here, Fade Into Hues. And I, I went ahead and got this palette because I, I do have rainbow palettes, but this one intrigued me. I love using palettes that you can just grab like one and like, you don't have to grab like four different palettes when you're trying to create a look. So I, I like, and, and I mean, I know rainbow palettes are like that, but what I like about this palette is there's a, like a lot of different textures and different um, tones of the same color. So I really like that because I like having the diversity and I like having, um, it just gives you more options of fading the hues together. So yeah, so we're gonna do a rainbow look. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm com gonna be completely committed to these bleached brows, but you know, it's kind of like into that trend or, or I, I think it's kind of cool. So we're going to give it a try um, and see if it works. So let's get started and I'll show you um, what I was thinking for this palette. Here is the palette up close. Isn't it cute? I love that there's like variations of each shade and textures. So brilliant. And look at that. I mean, look how dark that is. The red and the purple are and so intense and pigmented. I'm just, I'm really impressed with this rainbow palette. I just think it's awesome. And then I'm also gonna use my rainbow lashes. Now they're a bit on the small side, but I think they're really cute and look how cute they look with the palette. a song about mercury being in retrograde or have they and i just don't know it i think i'm gonna write a song about mercury in retrograde abh primer and then we're gonna do rainbow so i did think of a song it's let's see if i can remember <laughs> mercury's in retrograde i haven't heard from you in days mercury is in retrograde let the chips fall where they may. I couldn't care for you like you care for me. I wouldn't die for you like you die for me. I wouldn't die for you. I'll never care for you. Not gonna lie to you. Lie to you. Oh, 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 
also realized I did the colors backward on the lashes. <gasps> but that's okay, because like they're actually the same. Um, okay, I'm gonna clean this up. They're actually the same shape, so I can alternate sides to make it correct. I Before I want to put my foundation on, um, I forgot I wanted to do like sort of like rainbow gems going up there. Um, let's do that next. <laughs> pretty it's the purple shimmer shade i think it's cool. i am absolutely loving this now the only thing is is like this bleached brow trend honey what do you think of it i'm like i don't know if i like it on me because i have you know like platinum blonde streaks and i kind of feel like it like washes me out even more I think we're going to color block them in and I'm almost thinking of like and then, and then doing like glitter brows. I just think it would look really like like freaking cool. Um so yeah, so I'm just adding like a little bit. I ha added like a normal kind of a blush and then I want to add like a just a tiny bit of like a little bit more pink just out on the edges. pink ish and yes we're gonna do a nude lip and we're gonna do let's let's do some cool things with the brows okay so first i'm gonna add this it's it doesn't really look pink on it's this violet boss i it's so nice. This one's called Galactic Gem and it's so pretty. We're going to start there and see how it goes and then outline the brows. <laughs> looking really cool I'm debating on outlining them I think I will but I'm thinking about doing a pressed glitter on the brow bone I'm like no not blue I think let's do lucky charm
finished look. Very, just, just very rainbowy. I mean, I probably should have like maybe done like painted some rainbow stuff on here, but like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a few pictures and then if I have enough time, I will include it in the video. But I wanted to wrap this up while I still look kind of pretty. So, <laughs> so you can take me seriously. Although it's kind of hard to with like all this glitter and like stuff everywhere. <laughs> but I just, I just like really, really thought that like, you know, doing a rainbow look would like totally maximize, you know, trying out the palette. Like you wanna try all the colors, right? So like, I really, really tried out all the colors. And my opinion of this palette is really awesome. I always love their textures and the various array of colors and they're very pigmented. There are a few colors that I struggled with, I'm going to be honest, and I will explain which ones those were. The red took a little bit, a little while to pack on, but once I smoothed out my skin in that area, it really did pack on really well. They worked really well with the ABH um, primer, so that's cool. And then the other color, um, this orange was awesome but extremely like powdery so i'm really really glad that i used the tape underneath to collect all of it because then i was able to get like all paint paint messy and you know have some fun with it and and um sorry it was this orange right here art deco um but look at the color just so pretty right the yellow was awesome was perfect the green was a little bit difficult I would say the red and the green were the most difficult, I think, to um, to pack on and get a lot of um, color. But once I packed it on correctly, the color is there. All of the colors are really, really there. Um, I just think that, um, you know, just because they have to formulate different colors a different way, like, that's just how it works, I think, with most brands. So... Um, the red and the green were a little bit more difficult to um, to pack on and blend out, but once they did, they were gorgeous. These two colors I did use, I used these three blues. They were really, really nice to blend out. The, this one is one of the softer um, glittery ones. Uh, they blend so good and they pack on your primer so good. So, and this one packed on really good and blended out really nice. The purple was awesome, was perfect. And I know perf uh, purples are really difficult to get right. And this one was incredible. And same with Majestic. Ze Zeitgeist and Majestic were really, really awesome to, to blow out and to blend out as well as Selfie. Selfie was really, really awesome easy to blend, beautiful. And then let's see, Lucky Charm. I, so the only pressed pigment I used was Lucky Charm and it turned out really, really cute. So yeah, so there's, I'll read all of the colors. Fantasyland, Treasure, Lucky Charm, Designer, Take It Easel, Express, Lovecraft, So Precious, Big Smile, Pose, Kaleidoscope, Selfie, Prismatic, Art Deco, Shine Bright, Dyed Up, Hot, Copic, ooh, that's cool. Majestic, Artelier, Retro Dream, Bonus Points, Hot, Watermark, Nouveau, Paradise, Love Warhol, Abstract, Bold Type, Iconic, and Zeitgeist. So here you go. It's the full rainbow hue rainbow palette. I'm going to be honest. I think it's kind of like one of my favorite rainbow palettes because of all of the textures and the amount of different um, hues of the same shade. I am going to be reaching for this one <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you so much for joining me for this fun rainbow look. I also wanted to try one new product. Um, I've tried this on my channel before, but this is a new color. And this is my Flossy Glossy from Scott Barnes in 
the i think it's the champagne one like let me read it the packaging is so nice it's so beautiful this one is champagne and caviar and this one has the gold flex i have the one that has like the rose gold flex and i have one that has like light pink and this is gold and i thought this would look amazing on nudes so let's see if i'm right oh Wow, that is so beautiful. What I love about the flex, what I love about the flex in these flossy glossy metallic ones is it gives your lip like a lot more dimension. And wow, so beautiful. Oh my God. And these lashes, I did a review, uh, like I included them in a different video that I did, but yeah, I really like the lashes. They're not super long. They're actually just more mellow if you didn't want to do anything ridiculous like I did today. Um, to be artistic, they would actually look cute for a very mellow rainbow look, you know? Just a kind of normal one. So yeah, those would, those would look really good. What else did we try? Um, I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.